In mathematical logic and computer science, homotopy type theory hot refers to various lines of development of intentional type theory, based on the interpretation of types as objects to which the intuition of abstract homotopy theory applies. This includes, among other lines of work, the construction of homotopical and higher categorical models for such type theories, the use of type theory as a logic or internal language for abstract homotopy theory and higher category theory, the development of mathematics within a type theoretic foundation including both previously existing mathematics and new mathematics that homotopical types make possible, and the formalization of each of these in computer proof assistance. There is a large overlap between the work referred to as homotopy type theory, and as the Univalent Foundations project. Although neither is precisely delineated, and the terms are sometimes used interchangeably, the choice of usage also sometimes corresponds to differences in viewpoint and emphasis. As such, this article may not represent the views of all researchers in the fields equally. This kind of variability is unavoidable when a field is in rapid flux. Topic History Topic <laughs> Prehistory The Groupoid Model At one time the idea that types in intentional type theory with their identity types could be regarded as groupoids was mathematical folklore. It was first made precise semantically in the 1998 paper of Martin Hoffman and Thomas Stryker called, The Groupoid Interpretation of Type Theory, in which they showed that intentional type theory had a model in the category of groupoids. This was the first truly homotopical model of type theory, albeit only one dimensional, the traditional models in the category of sets being homotopically zero dimensional. Their paper also foreshadowed several later developments in homotopy type theory. For instance, they noted that the groupoid model satisfies a rule they called universe extensionality, which is none other than the restriction to one types of the univalence axiom that Vladimir Vovodsky proposed ten years later. The axiom for one types is notably simpler to formulate, however, since a coherence notion of equivalence is not required, they also defined categories with isomorphism as a quality, and conjectured that in a model using higher dimensional groupoids, for such categories one would have equivalence is a quality. This was later proven by Benedict Ahrens, Christoph Kapulkin, and Michael Schulman. <laughs> Early history, model categories and higher groupoids The first higher dimensional models of intentional type theory were constructed by Steve Woody and his student Michael Warren in 2005 using Quillen model categories. These results were first presented in public at the conference FMCS 2006 at which Warren gave a talk titled, Homotopy Models of Intentional Type Theory which also served as his thesis prospectus the dissertation committee present were Woody, Nicola Gambino and Alex Simpson. A summary is contained in Warren's thesis prospectus abstract, at a subsequent workshop about identity types at Uppsala University in 2006 there were two talks about the relation between intentional type theory and factorization systems, one by Richard Garner, factorization systems for type theory, and one by Michael Warren model categories and intentional identity types." Related ideas were discussed in the talks by Steve Woody, "...type theory of higher dimensional categories," and Thomas Stryker, "...identity types vs weak omega groupoids, some ideas, some problems." At the same conference Benno van den Berg gave a talk titled, "...types as weak omega categories." where he outlined the ideas that later became the subject of a joint paper with Richard Garner. All early constructions of higher dimensional models had to deal with the problem of coherence typical of models of dependent type theory, and various solutions were developed. One such was given in 2009 by Vovodsky, another in 2010 by Van den Berg and Garner. 
A general solution, building on Vovodsky's construction, was eventually given by Lumsdane and Warren in 2014. At the PSSL 86 in 2007, a Woody gave a talk titled, Homotopy Type Theory. This was the first public usage of that term, which was coined by a Woody. A Woody and Warren summarized their results in the paper, Homotopy Theoretic Models of Identity Types which was posted on the Arxiv preprint server in 2007 and published in 2009 a more detailed version appeared in Warren's thesis homotopy theoretic aspects of constructive type theory in 2008 at about the same time vladimir vovodsky was independently investigating type theory in the context of the search of a language for practical formalization of mathematics in September 2006 he posted to the type's mailing list, "...a very short note on homotopy lambda calculus", which sketched the outlines of a type theory with dependent products, sums and universes and of a model of this type theory in Kansimplicial sets. It began by saying, "...the homotopy lambda calculus is a hypothetical type system." and ended with at the moment much of what I said above is at the level of conjectures. Even the definition of the model of TS in the homotopy category is non-trivial, referring to the complex coherence issues that were not resolved until 2009. This note included a syntactic definition of equality types that were claimed to be interpreted in the model by path spaces, but did not consider per Martin Loff's rules for identity types. It also stratified the universes by homotopy dimension in addition to size, an idea that later was mostly discarded. On the syntactic side, Benno van den Berg conjectured in 2006 that the tower of identity types of a type in intentional type theory should have the structure of an omega category, and indeed a omega groupoid, in the globular, algebraic sense of Michael Batanen. This was later proven independently by van den Berg and Garner in the paper, Types are weak omega groupoids, published 2008, and by Peter Lumsdane in the paper. Weak Omega Categories from Intentional Type Theory", published 2009 and as part of his 2010 PhD thesis, "...Higher Categories from Type Theories". The univalence axiom, synthetic homotopy theory, and higher inductive types The concept of a univalent vibration was introduced by Vovodsky in early 2006. However, because of the insistence of all presentations of the Martin Loff type theory on the property that the identity types, in the empty context, may contain only reflexivity, Vovodsky did not recognize until 2009 that these identity types can be used in combination with the univalent universes. In particular, the idea that univalence can be introduced simply by adding an axiom to the existing Martin Loff type theory appeared only in 2009. Also in 2009, Vovodsky worked out more of the details of a model of type theory in CAN complexes, and observed that the existence of a universal CAN vibration could be used to resolve the coherence problems for categorical models of type theory. He also proved, using an idea of A.K. Bowsfield, that this universal vibration was univalent. The associated vibration of pairwise homotopy equivalences between the fibers is equivalent to the path space vibration of the base. To formulate univalence as an axiom, Vovodsky found a way to define equivalences syntactically that had the important property that the type representing the statement, F is an equivalence was under the assumption of function extensionality minus 1 truncated ie contractible if inhabited this enabled him to give a syntactic statement of univalence generalizing hoffman and striker's universe extensionality to higher dimensions he was also able to use these definitions of equivalences and contractibility to start developing significant amounts of synthetic homotopy theory in the proof assistant Koch, this formed the basis of the library later called foundations, and eventually unamath 
Unification of the various threads began in February 2010 with an informal meeting at Carnegie Mellon University, where Vovodsky presented his model in CAN complexes and his COC code to a group including a Woody, Warren, Lumsdane, and Robert Harper, Dan Licata, Michael Schulman, and others. This meeting produced the outlines of a proof by Warren, Lumsdane, Lakata, and Shulman that every homotopy equivalence is an equivalence in Vovodsky's good coherent sense, based on the idea from category theory of improving equivalences to adjoint equivalences. Soon afterwards, Vovodsky proved that the univalence axiom implies function extensionality. The next pivotal event was a mini-workshop at the Mathematical Research Institute of Oberwolfic in March 2011 organized by Steve Woody, Richard Garner, Per Martin Loff, and Vladimir Vovodsky, titled, The Homotopy Interpretation of Constructive Type Theory. As part of a Koch tutorial for this workshop, Andre Bauer wrote a small Koch library, based on Vovodsky's ideas but not actually using any of his code. This eventually became the kernel of the first version of the hot Koch library, the first commit of the latter by Michael Schulman notes, development based on Andre Bauer's files, with many ideas taken from Vladimir Vovodsky's files. One of the most important things to come out of the Oberwolfic meeting was the basic idea of higher inductive types, due to Lumsdane, Schulman, Bauer, and Warren. The participants also formulated a list of important open questions, such as whether the univalence axiom satisfies canonicity still open, although some special cases have been resolved positively, whether the univalence axiom has non-standard models since answered positively by Schulman, and how to define semi simplicial types still open in MLTT, although it can be done in Vovodsky's homotopy type system HTS, a type theory with two equality types. Soon after the Oberwolfic workshop, the homotopy type theory website and blog was established, and the subject began to be popularized under that name. An idea of some of the important progress during this period can be obtained from the blog history. <laughs> <laughs> Univalent foundations The phrase Univalent foundations is agreed by all to be closely related to homotopy type theory, but not everyone uses it in the same way. It was originally used by Vladimir Vovodsky to refer to his vision of a foundational system for mathematics in which the basic objects are homotopy types, based on a type theory satisfying the univalence axiom, and formalized in a computer proof assistant. As Vovodsky's work became integrated with the community of other researchers working on homotopy type theory, univalent foundations was sometimes used interchangeably with homotopy type theory and other times to refer only to its use as a foundational system excluding, for example, the study of model categorical semantics or computational metatheory. For instance, the subject of the IAS special year was officially given as univalent foundations, although a lot of the work done there focused on semantics and metatheory in addition to foundations. The book produced by participants in the IAS program was titled Homotopy type theory, univalent foundations of mathematics. Although this could refer to either usage, since the book only discusses HOT as a mathematical foundation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Special year on univalent foundations of mathematics. In 2012-13 researchers at the Institute for Advanced Study held a special year on univalent foundations of mathematics. The special year brought together researchers in topology, computer science, category theory, and mathematical logic. The program was organized by Steve Woody, Thierry Kukwan and Vladimir Vovodsky. During the program Peter Axel, who was one of the participants, initiated a working group which investigated how to do type theory informally but rigorously, in a style that is analogous to ordinary mathematicians doing set theory. After initial experiments it became clear that this was not only possible but highly beneficial, and that a book, the so-called hot book could and should be written. 
Many other participants of the project then joined the effort with technical support, writing, proofreading, and offering ideas. Unusually for a mathematics text, it was developed collaboratively and in the open on GitHub, is released under a Creative Commons license that allows people to fork their own version of the book, and is both purchasable in print and downloadable free of charge. More generally, the special year was a catalyst for the development of the entire subject. The hot book was only one, albeit the most visible, result. Official participants in the special year ACM Computing Reviews listed the book as a notable 2013 publication in the category, Mathematics of Computing. <laughs> <laughs> Key concepts Propositions as types Hot uses a modified version of the «propositions as types» interpretation of type theory, according to which types can also represent propositions and terms can then represent proofs. In Hot, however, unlike in standard «propositions as types» A special role is played by mere propositions which, roughly speaking, are those types having at most one term, up to propositional equality. These are more like conventional logical propositions than are general types, in that they are proof irrelevant. <laughs> equality The fundamental concept of homotopy type theory is the path. In hot, the type a equals b display style a equals b is the type of all paths from the point a display style a to the point b display style b. Therefore, a proof that a point a display style a equals a point b. Display style b is the same thing as a path from the point a display style a to the point b display style b for any point a display style a there exists a path of type a equals a display style a equals a corresponding to the reflexive property of equality a path of type a equals b display style a equals b can be inverted forming a path of type b equals a display style b equals a corresponding to the symmetric property of equality two paths of type equals b display style a equals b resp b equals c display style b equals c can be concatenated forming a path of type a equals c display style a equals c this corresponds to the transitive property of equality most importantly, given a path P A equals B display style P A equals B and a proof of some property P A display style P A the proof can be transported along the path P display style P to yield a proof of the property P B display style P B equivalently stated an object of type P A display style P A can be turned into an object of type P B display style P B this corresponds to the substitution property of equality here, an important difference between hot and classical mathematics comes in. In classical mathematics, once the equality of two values a, a 
and b display style b has been established a display style a and b display style b may be used interchangeably thereafter with no regard to any distinction between them in homotopy type theory however there may be multiple different paths a equals b display style a equals b and transporting an object along two different paths will yield two different results Therefore, in homotopy type theory, when applying the substitution property, it is necessary to state which path is being used. In general, a proposition can have multiple different proofs. For example, the type of all natural numbers, when considered as a proposition, has every natural number as a proof. Even if a proposition has only one proof, a display style a, the space of paths equals a display style a equals a may be non trivial in some way a mere proposition is any type which either is empty or contains only one point with a trivial path space note that people write a equals b display style a equals b for i d a a b display style it underscore a a b thereby leaving the type a display style a of a b display style a b implicit do not confuse it with i d a a display style it underscore a a to a denoting the identity function on a display style a topic type equivalence two types a display style a and b display style b belonging to some universe u display style u are defined as being equivalent if there exists an equivalence between them an equivalence is a function f a b display style f a to b which has both a left inverse and a right inverse in the sense that for suitably chosen g display style g and h display style h the following types are both inhabited i d b b f g i d b display style it underscore b right arrow b f circ g it underscore b i d a a H F I D A display style it underscore a right arrow a h circ f it underscore a i e f g equals b b i d b Display style f circ g equals underscore b right arrow b it underscore b h f equals a a i d a display style h circ f equals underscore a right arrow a it underscore a. This expresses a general notion of f has both a left inverse and right inverse using equality types. Note that the invertibility conditions above are equality types in the function types a a display style a right arrow a and b b display style b right arrow b 
One generally assumes the function extensionality axiom, which ensures that these are equivalent to the following types that express invertibility using the equality on the domain and codomain a display style a and b display style b pi y b i d b f G Y I D B Y Display style Pi underscore Y B it underscore B F circ G Y it underscore B Y Pi X A I D A H F X I D A X Display style Pi underscore X A it underscore A H circ F X it underscore A X I E for all X A Display style X A and Y B Display style Y B F G Y equals B Y display style F G Y equals underscore B Y H F X equals A X display style H F X equals underscore A X the functions of type a B display style A to B together with a proof that they are equivalences are denoted by a b display style a simic b topic the univalence axiom having to find functions that are equivalences as above one can show that there is a canonical way to turn paths to equivalences in other words, there is a function of the type a equals b a b display style a equals b to a sim q b, which expresses that types a b display style a b that are equal are, in particular, also equivalent. The univalence axiom states that this function is itself an equivalence. Therefore, we have a equals b a b display style a equals b a b. In other words, identity is equivalent to equivalence. In particular, one may say that equivalent types are identical. Topic Applications Topic Theorem Proving HOT allows mathematical proofs to be translated into a computer programming language for computer proof assistance much more easily than before. This approach offers the potential for computers to check difficult proofs. One goal of mathematics is to formulate axioms from which virtually all mathematical theorems can be derived and proven unambiguously. Correct proofs in mathematics must follow the rules of logic. They must be derivable without error from axioms and already proven statements. Hot adds the univalence axiom, which relates the equality of logical mathematical propositions to homotopy theory. An equation such as a equals b is a mathematical proposition in which two different symbols have the same value. In homotopy type theory, this is taken to mean that the two shapes which represent the values of the symbols are topologically equivalent. These topological equivalence relationships, Ed Zurich Institute for Theoretical Studies director Giovanni Felder argues, can be better formulated in homotopy theory because it is more comprehensive. Homotopy theory explains not only why a equals b but also how to derive this. 
In set theory, this information would have to be defined additionally, which makes the translation of mathematical propositions into programming languages more difficult. Topic: <laughs> Computer programming. As of 2015, intense research work was underway to model and formally analyze the computational behavior of the univalence axiom in homotopy type theory. Cubical type theory is one attempt to give computational content to homotopy type theory, however, it is believed that certain objects, such as semi simplicial types, cannot be constructed without reference to some notion of exact equality. Therefore, various two-level type theories have been developed which partition their types into fibrant types, which respect paths, and non-fibrant types, which do not. Cartesian cubical computational type theory is the first two-level type theory which gives a full computational interpretation to homotopy type theory. See also Calculus of constructions Curry-Howard correspondence Intuitionistic type theory Homotopy hypothesis Univalent foundations <laughs>